so as in the previous video at the conclusion part we have already discussed what exactly the wavelet system mean so up till now as we have learned the scaling function and wavelet function for the har wavelet so for any wavelet from the family of wavelets i see in general there it will be of course the scaling function and a wavelet function so the wavelet system can be the combination of using scaling function and the wavelet function along with the knowledge of the refinement relation that we have defined through a known set of coefficients so that we term as a wavelet system here so basically for the wavelet system there it is a terminology of support support is basically the range of interval for which we have a definition of scaling function and the wavelet function so if you recall back the har scaling function we see there it is constant amplitude of 1 for the entire duration of unit interval 0 to 1 on the time axis whereas if you talk about the har wavelet function so that time for 0 to 1 by 2 it means 0 to 0.5 we have the amplitude level plus 1 whereas from 0.5 onwards up to 1 we have the amplitude level minus 1 so that it is har wavelet function here so this definition completes for both the har scaling function and the har wavelet function for the unit interval that it is 0 to 1 so when we shall be talking about what is the support to the har wavelet system so the support to the har wavelet system is the range that is 0 to 1 here so now we can have the two more terms in association to the support of the wavelet system the first one is length of the support and next one is number of coefficients here see the relationship between the length of the support and the number of coefficients into the refinement relation is really very very important here in the previous video we have already discussed about the number of coefficients or the weights you can see here and the length of support as we are talking about the complete range of the time interval over which there it is a certain non zero amplitude so i hope this brings the clarity here so now for such a wavelet system concerning the support and these two associated terms here let us focus to another type of the scaling function other than the conventional that we have talked about so that it is the triangle scaling function here so instead of defining it for the range 0 to 1 that it was the unit interval let us define it for the range 0 to 2 here so two unit intervals we have taken to define the triangle scaling function here now in the conventional form of the har scaling function and har wavelet function there it was the constant amplitude for a certain time interval as the name suggests triangle scaling function you see a kind of ramp function in the amplitude level there it is first of all a linear increase into the amplitude level and onwards there it is after a peak point is achieved a linear drop into the amplitude level so this is something like a triangle a geometrical shape here that is why such a scaling function we call to be a triangle scaling function so the usual notation here you find phi of t for the triangle scaling function mathematically it is expressed to have the amplitude equal to t for the range 0 to t and the amplitude 2 minus t for the range 1 to t 1 to 2 here and elsewhere it is equal to 0 so now here you see as we have defined this triangle scaling function for the range 0 to 2 so you can say the length of the support is equal to 2 here so for half of the time interval we have it 
amplitude linearly increasing in positive direction that we have shown it with the help of small t here and then there it is a decrease 2 minus t for half of the next interval so that it is from 1 to 2 here so now this triangle scaling function is obeying the scaling relation that is expressed as phi of t is equal to 1 by 2 times phi of twice t added by 1 times phi of twice t minus 1 further added by 1 by 2 times phi of twice t minus 2 here. So this can also be expressed with the help of one illustration what we have the triangular scaling function. So here you see. So at the bottom the three components of this relation also we have shown. So here first of all we have 1 by 2 times phi of twice t. So whenever you talk about phi of twice t, so it is basically reducing the time interval by the factor 2 for the original scaling function. So now you don't assume the original scaling function in this case to be the conventional one that it was defined for the interval 0 to 1 with the constant amplitude level 1. So you see from the previous slide the definition of phi of t which is having a linear increase into the amplitude as the t progresses from 0 to 1 and then a linear decrease that it is shown 2 minus t for the time duration 1 to 2 here. So here we have the time scaled version phi of twice t and further it is multiplied by 1 by 2. So that has been shown by the dashed line here. Next to that the middle component you see that is phi of 2t minus 1. So as we have reduced the time interval it is the time scaled version of the scaling function that has been now translated by one unit on the right hand side that it has shown by phi of 2t minus 1 and at last the translated version by one more unit on the right hand side for this it will be phi of 2t minus 2 here so that has also been multiplied by the scalar 1 by 2 here you can see the ratio and the addition of these three as shown by the dashed line will give us a solid line shape that you see a triangular shape here and it is nothing but the reconstruction of the original triangle scaling function that it was initially defined here. So here by the next slide we show you the associated wavelet function to this. So here it is the illustration the wavelet function is denoted psi of t here and you see the psi of t is obtained by again the three components those have been either the translated or the scaled version translated and scaled version of the scaling function that we have earlier defined here. So we have minus 1 by 2 in multiplication to phi of twice t further added by phi of twice t minus 1 minus 1 by 2 times phi of twice t minus 2. So this calculation is giving us psi of t to be the associated triangular wavelet function here. So here you see with the help of the solid dark line we have shown the associated wavelet function here. Now to introduce this particular topic is to get you know that as we have learned our scaling and the Haar wavelet function the wavelet family is very very diverse you can produce different shapes to the scaling function and the wavelet function and by the use of corresponding translated and the scaled version you can have a representation system for any kind of the signal so depending on the application at hand the different shapes those have been nowadays implemented by many of the researchers here will benefit with the possible efficiency while addressing that signal processing application here here it was the wavelet system and the triangular scaling function. Now at the bottom of the illustration as we have mathematically expressed the associated wavelet function here. Uh, thereupon next to that we have a set of values here. These are basically the wavelet coefficients. Those are either minus 1 by 2 comma 1 minus 1 by 2 or you can take it like 1 by 2 
comma minus 1 comma 1 by 2g 